this is our way of making sure that every bite has bacon in it. That's crazy and, good. Right, for bacon burger wow. lovers. I'm Doug with America's Best Restaurants, and we're traveling the country coast to coast to find restaurants that you should dine at on a frequent basis, like MST Pub and Grub in Tiffin, Ohio. Now they're known for their chicken chunks, but they've got burgers and everything else on the menu that you need to come sample. So why don't you come with me? We're gonna go inside, meet Chris, have a chat, cover their menu and more. Come on with me, let's go find out. By the way, this is Chris. I mentioned him outside. MST Pub and Grub, Tiffin, Ohio. So we're gonna get into the backstory, the sauces, there's a lot going on. Let's jump right into the food first. Sounds good. This is a food show, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Item number one, what are we looking at? That is our hillbilly chicken wrap. So what that is, it's a combination of a lot of different flavors. So we have our famous chicken chunks in there, a little bit of bacon, our fresh made coleslaw, some onion petals, and a little bit of barbecue sauce with some pepper jack cheese. Um, that one hits all your taste buds as well. That's kind of what we go with here at Madison Street. We like uh, big flavors and that will not disappoint you. All right, well, I'm gonna have to, sorry, I gotta lean over. My mom would be mad because it's rude. All right, so I'm gonna, I gotta dig in. Now, the background here, you've owned the place now for about 12 about years. About 12 years, yeah. Give yep. the backstory, because where we're sitting right now was like a stage. This was Yeah, this used to be a stage right? when I first bought the, bought the place. This was a stage, we had a DJ booth here. Um, we had some other things on the walls that I won't discuss at this point, but um, yeah, so I was getting my uh, master's degree at Tiffin University here in town. Uh, started working here bartending, um, was able to start managing the place um, and had the, um, ability to buy the place outright after uh, the owner fell on a little bit of hard times before. So um, we started working on it, uh, starting to upgrade things, starting to get rid of the carpet on the floor, you know, upgrade some booths, um, focus more on the food because they didn't do much food. At first, we just did Tuesday night wings mm -hmm. and steak fries. That was the only two things we did. Um, and that's kind of how we got our start. And uh, so we progressed over the years, made the menu what it is today. Um, got some great staff in with me um, that shared in our vision of good service, good food. Um, everybody bought into it and here we are. So um, it's kind of a cool story, but you know. Nice. By the way, this is delicious. I'm gonna take another bite because I'm gonna ask you another question. Sweat equity. I wanna just recap this. You said just you ripped up either. You guys have put the blood, sweat and tears into Absolutely. doing this work yourself. Yeah, most of it. Um, some of the bigger stuff just recently, like the fireplace behind mm -hmm. us and the floor, obviously I needed a little help on that, but most of the paint and the decor, um, my wife and I, um, you know, my wife designed most of the stuff, mm -hmm. told me what to do and put me to work. Um, so yeah, we, you know, some of the guys that worked with me for a lot of years, they helped as well. So um, yeah, we put a lot, a lot, a lot of work into this place and, you know, we're just starting to see the fruits of our labor for sure. Love it. Now let's get into item number two. Saw it on your uh, website. You have the chicken chunk mafia. That's what you call the guys in the back. Yeah, right? that's All that's right, my boys so. in the kitchen with me. You know, I, I'm most nights I'm back there with my boys in the kitchen cooking. Um, we just go, you know, our chicken chunks are what we're known for. That's kind of what we started with. Uh, we hand bread all our chicken. We hand cut all our chicken. I got my man Pete back there that does 2,000 pounds a week. So he 2,000 uh, pounds. 2, pounds of chicken he, he he cuts in a week. So, you know, without <laughs> without guys like him, you know, this place wouldn't be anything. So forever grateful for him and most of my staff back there. You know, we, we've been together for a long time. I'm very fortunate for that. Yeah. So these are the Griff chicken chunks, which is this sauce here. Um, so it's a little, it's a combination, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of pureed butter, and then we yeah. sprinkle some Parmesan cheese at the end. Just a little bit of a kick there at the end, but not, not too bad. So for people that don't like spicy, they want mm -hmm. a little bit of different flavor. That's what they go with typically. Okay, so the background, you got a marketing background, right? I do, yeah, I graduated from Tiffin with my master's in uh, marketing. How does marketing parlay into creating sauces? Well, I mean, it, it was a great parlay for me. Um, during COVID, we wanted to find a different revenue stream. So we decided to start uh, bottling some of our sauces. 
uh, worked with uh, our local distributor here, Tiffin Paper Company, and they really helped me along the process. So from anywhere from designing the bottles to the, the labels and stuff like that, um, you know, a lot of that marketing degree really helped. Um, and even more so now, just trying to get the sauces out there and reach a bigger customer base, you know, it's really helped quite a bit. So, so what's the process when it comes to creating a new sauce? Is it you? Is it teamwork? We've got a, we've got a crowd back there. <laughs> how much how much does everyone play into creating brand new sauce? Well, a lot of a lot of the guys from the kitchen have helped me create these sauces over the years. So, um, you know, we we've had the recipes. So we we sent the recipes out to a company out of Chicago, Darina, so good that does a wonderful job working with us. Um, so we send them our recipe. You know, they send us samples. We get it right. Um, you know, what my team does the best is marketing for me. Um, they're the front lines. Uh, for my service, for every table they go up to, you know, they're the first people, first person people see, and you know, they they do a great job marketing the sauces. They do a great job marketing the food. Um, they're just all around great people that you know care about what we put out. You know, they bought into the vision. They bought into what we want to do. So that really makes a difference when people come in here. They feel feel a sense of our family that we have here. Well, you must be doing something right overall from back of house, front of house, and management because we were talking off camera that the majority of the people that are here have been here almost since like day one or they've been here a long yeah, time, which yeah, doesn't happen in the restaurant industry. Right, right. We, we certainly have a couple newer guys that have really uh, fell seamlessly into our team. But, you know, for the most part, we, we do have guys that have been here for 10 plus years um, awesome. that have seen us grow. And, you know, obviously I couldn't do anything without my staff and I'm forever grateful for them. Um, I just appreciate them sticking around with me and, you know, buying into everything that we're doing here. Boom. Love it. All right. I think we should, uh, let's dive into number two, number three, actually. What are we looking I'm going to try our wing with you because these are delicious. Cheers. So, so these We're are the eat. dry rub chicken wings. Um, this is our house dry rub. So, you know, it's one of those unique flavor mm. combinations. So it's a little salty, a little sweet, a little spicy. It kind of hits all your taste buds. Um, what we like about it is that, you know, there's a little tingle afterwards and that makes you want to have another bite, you know. There's nothing wrong with that. No, no. Yeah. That, Who's going to eat one wing anyway? Not too many people. Yeah, I was going to say. See, now it's just two dudes sitting and eating. This is good. Mm. Oh, yeah. So you can put that on all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. We put on mac and cheese at home, popcorn, chips, whatever you want to put them on. I like that. Ribs. Yeah, it's a really good flavor combination. Not not too overpowering anything. So. No, that's solid. No. This again. Boom. Cool. Item number four. I'm losing track. So four is uh, our chicken chunks again, but what we did here is this is our kitchen sink sauce. Um, I believe this is the sauce that should put us on the map someday. Um, it's a mix of all of the sauces that we have here at Madison Street, so nobody could ever duplicate it. So that's another one of those flavor profiles where you get you know a little sweet right off the bat. You get a little bit of heat, a little bit of saltiness, with so some savory uh, in there with some Jamaican jerk and Cajun seasoning. So it's it's one of those unique sauces that you know the more you eat and the more you, yeah. you find different, you know, different flavors that pop up. So first was almost like an orange sauce that you would get. Right. And now there's some kick. Yeah. The it's more you, like that ever loving as it sit, yep. stop stopper yep. for as Willy it sits Wonka in your mouth, it, it just starts changing. Yep. Wow. That's good. Kitchen sink. Yeah. The kitchen sink. And that'll okay, be another one be of story. the sauces that we, well, honestly it was, you know, brainstorm with the boys in the back over a couple beers after a shift and, you know, we just started mixing sauces together. I mean, there's probably hundreds of sauces we've tried to come up with, but uh, that one really stuck and everybody seems to enjoy it. It's definitely one of our most popular and unique sauces, oh, yeah. which makes it nice. That's that's solid. Okay, so you said that you're known for the chicken chunks. Or Correct. The chicken chunk mafia, but the burgers. Yeah, the burgers. Uh, different. Yeah, that was always a goal to try to get uh, a little better quality burger around here and... Uh, we were able to get a nice custom blend. So we use brisket, short rib, and chuck in all of our burgers. So um, it's a little bit different. It almost eats more like a steak. It's got that steak flavor to it, as opposed to just a generic uh, generic burger, really. Yeah. Um, this one's unique because what we do with it is we take a, a patty and we encrust the whole patty in bacon. And then on our flat top, we're able to sear that bacon and it keeps all the juices in but then you get bacon in every bite. It's one of those burgers that nobody else sells um, and it's really solid. I, I think okay. you'll enjoy that one. How, how did this come about? I mean, how do you think of putting the bacon that way? 
I just, I, I know the normal bacon burgers, you get a couple slices of bacon and you don't always, you know, every bite, you don't get that bacon that you're, you know, craving. Mm. So this is our way of making sure that every bite has bacon in it. That's crazy and, good. Right, for bacon burger lovers, wow. that's the one. Whoever made that back there, great job. Holy cow. Right? That's good. And it, you know, it stays juicy, you know, because we sear everything on the flat top so that juice stays in. We're not losing any of that flavor, and it just really encrusts that whole burger. Makes it. Wow. Bacon Great lover's job. burger. Thank you, brother. Boom. Love that. So let's jump in back to the sauces again real quick, too, because yeah. as you said, it's kind of during COVID. Came up with a different stream. There are bottles that you have shipped over to England, yep, yep, California, we, all over the place. Yeah, we, we ship them across the country. Um, that's the beauty of this town. We have two colleges in town, so... You know, we're constantly getting new people coming and going. Um, we got hooked up with a guy from uh, England. His son was playing soccer at Tiffin University and uh, really enjoyed our sauces while I was here on a visit. And when he got home, he uh, shared it with some of his friends and family, and they really enjoyed it, too. So I, I shipped a bunch of bottles over to him, and, you know, he was grateful for that. And, you know, like I said, we've shipped them to California, Arizona, Florida, Texas, you know, kind of all over Michigan. So... Yeah, we're just getting started, but, you know, it's something that we want to keep progressing on and get, get a little bit more people enjoying it. Love what you're doing here, bro. Well, I appreciate it very much. And you also have the bar over there as well? Oh, There's yeah, yeah. We serve drinks, too, for sure. I mean, okay. And you you have a bartending background? I don't. I mean, I I do, I guess. I, I started bartending when I was, okay. you know, so it was a work in progress. We've come a long way in our bar specials and our drinks that we do now. So, you know, I think it pairs well with our food. We uh, work with local dis um, beer distributors to, to give us some local beer that really pairs well with our spicy food. And right. so it's been a good collaboration. And, you but know, you can continues. still pop back there and make some. Oh, yeah, we can still okay. sling some drinks for sure. Okay, I got Absolutely. You. All right, cool. Any last thing maybe we didn't cover that you want to promote, talk about? That lens right there is yours. Well, really, I, I just want to, you know, promote my great staff. I want to thank them for everything they've done over the years for me. Um, obviously, we wouldn't be anywhere without them. Um, I want to keep promoting our sauces. I think, I think more people uh, will enjoy our sauces, you know, that leave after college. So I, I think that's a good, you know, good revenue stream for us, too. Um, you know, we want to thank you guys for being here. It's been an honor to meet all of you and your staff. Um, you guys have been great. And. You know, we just appreciate you looking out for the small guys. Love it. That's what we're here for. Appreciate Boom. it. Love it. Hey, tell you what, you've got several different social channels. You've got the social for MST. MST, the, yeah, the, the sauce, sauce company. Plug away. Yep, just yeah, just put it on Instagram today. So I'm I'm new to the Instagram game, but look out for us. We're coming at you. We're bringing them up to speed on stuff. <laughs> we don't just sit here in front of the camera and eat food. We try to help as much as possible. And Absolutely. also, tell you what, hit the subscribe button below, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, you'll get notifications when more episodes drop. And there's also a full listing of MST right here on AmericasBestRestaurants.com. So check out their social channels. They've got the website. Follow them. And if you're in the Tiffin area, you come up around this area, it's well worth it. Stop in and try this out. And also, order the sauces. Appreciate it, Chris. Appreciate you. Excellent. Thank you very much. Appreciate the crew back there. Love having an audience. Appreciate you watching. I'm going to take one more bite of this. So cheers to you. Thanks for tuning in. Till the next episode, I'm out.